All right, I wanted to talk about two related concepts. One is dynamic memory and one is memory leaks. So let's go ahead and look at how we can do this. First of all, you can use pointers. And so if I have a pointer int star um, num, this pointer can be assigned to a integer value in memory somewhere. And you could use that by saying something like int um, x, and then I could have num be equal to the address of x. And that would be work just fine. However, x is already declared and created, and it's already got this fixed memory. So let's look at how to dynamically add something. If I wanted to put a value at num, I could create a new integer. So I could say num equals new int. And so what does that do? Well, that makes it so that now this pointer is pointing to a piece of memory. And then I can assign a value to it by saying star num equals 10. So that will give it a value. And then if I want to display the value, I can just use a cout statement. Cout. And uh, put out star num for the dereferenced number. And so that works great. Now, if I run this, run the code, you can see that, in fact, it does assign, well, there's a number 10. And that all works great. Now, the thing is that I created a new integer here and assigned it to num. And I never, well, unassigned it. it. Just this int sticks around forever until the program ends, in which case it is deleted. I can manually delete it with a delete command. So delete, and then I tell it the pointer that is being used, so num, and that will delete the number. And then I can run this, and it should look the same. And it deletes it automatically when the program ends. However, if I wanted to, I could make my code a little different. And let's say I make a while loop. So while true. And then I just say num equals new int. And it doesn't seem to like this for some reason. Can't imagine why. Um, is saying, well, what's going on here? Endless loop. Well, that's fine. So if I run this, what will happen is it will take num and it will assign it to a new int, but it never deletes the int. And because it never deletes the int, it just keeps allocating more and more memory. And this is what we call a memory leak. I mean, this is a pretty blatant quick one. If I run the code here, it runs and it just runs and I guess eventually it's going to have something where it just uses up all its memory and crashes. I don't know how long it's going to take. This is a pretty good computer and it has lots of memory, but it could take a long time. I'm not allocating that much memory, so it's just grabbing it and endlessly just using it up. So if you have programs like this and they run forever, eventually they can consume a lot of memory and if you have a program such as like a web server or something with this kind of a new statement being used without deleting it then eventually your web server is going to crash so make sure wherever you allocate memory with this new command you also put in the delete it's ideal to put in the delete the same time you put in the new command. So you put in the new, and then you put in the delete, and make sure there is a clear path from the new to the delete. Anyway, this is how you can do dynamic memory allocation. Use the new command and then the delete command.